Alright, hey guys, um, yesterday was the last day of trapping season, so getting the rest of my furs put up, and so <clears throat> I have a video up of uh, showing, putting a, a coon fur on a board, and I also use wire stretchers, so I'm going to show you how to put them on wire. Uh, this is a modified wire stretcher, it doesn't have the little hooks at the end here. What I do to modify them, I just right where it uh, makes a 90 degree angle, I just cut that off and then I make, uh, it's called a handle. Um, for this I just take a uh, half inch tubing, square tubing, uh, drill some holes, uh, you can drill two on each side and so you can slide use the bolts or eye hooks or whatever and you can slide it up and down to however long the coon is so you can pin it and so basically I like these so much better from the regular wire ones because you can actually pin the tail out like it would be on a board so you can't do that on just a regular wire one so I'll show you how you do it so got flesh coon here so what you want to do is put the belly side to where the the bolts are so we're gonna put it on here you want to even it up even it on both sides so you just hook it there get it on there even and so now what we're going to do is pin the back legs down <coughs> so on these you only go down probably an inch or two do you want room in between where the base is on the back and the metal piece so you can use closed pins to attach to it. So just take two pins, one on the lower part of the leg and one up top. And I leave oh about half inch or so between the the top pin and where the corner is because we're gonna cut that out for the inspection window. So we do that on both sides. And so we got that just like that, like you would on a normal board. And to pull it down, you want to loosen the, the bolts up. And I got up here in the rafter, up here. I have a bolt or a, a nail over here on a rafter. So you just hang it up there. And all all I do is you just pull down on it. Is I can you squeeze like like you push together on the wire, but between the ears and the front arms you do that when, when you do that it allows the, the base to go down and I'm just pulling it down with my thumb to where it'll just kind of stretch not really too tight when I mean, you can see it still has some give in it so get it down to where it really won't go any farther and then all I do is just tighten it up with pliers so it won't want to slip up. So that's, and that's what you do for to pretty much kind of stretch it. Then we'll 
uh, pin the t uh, yeah, pin the tail next. This one really didn't have that long of a tail to begin with, so not much tail here. So I'm gonna, all I'm gonna do is just kind of pull it down, not real tight, because you want it to be fairly loose in this area, because that's where the you want it to the tightest fur to be right in here to make it look more full. So. So we just pin this out. I can see there's not much tail, tail there to pin, but just pull down the corners here. You can kind of see. Just pull down the corners like that, like you would on a regular wire. And all I do is take clothes pin. Just one clothes pin works on each side. like that. Most of the time you won't get an even line straight across but you'll have a little bit of an arch here but it doesn't matter too much. This will probably be oh, about 29 inches so and go around to the belly. And I like this modified kind of stretcher because you can, it's more even on the, the stretcher on like where the little hooks, it can either get off to one side because it's, the hooks aren't, some of them aren't long enough, so it makes your inspection window kind of off to one side, so like you normally would on a male. <coughs> this can go above where the the penis hole is and just cut and I'm only cutting maybe a quarter inch to a half an inch off on both sides just like that a little extra skin there cut it off so we'll go to the front legs. Go to the front legs here. And all I do is I make sure I skin them to where the legs are fairly long. So in case it's easier to flesh that way so you don't have to get every piece of fat off because you're going to cut it off anyways. So. All I do is just pull out. I usually leave about a half inch to an inch on it. So I just cut down. So it's like that. Both sides. And then for the lips, you can. I usually skin down to the, the bottom lip here. All I do is just pull up on the lip, go down about an inch, inch and a half, make a little cut, and then cut up on each side to get the lip off. And so that's that's it for this. To put them on the wire, modified wire stretcher. So and that makes them look quite a bit better than what you would do on a, a regular wire stretcher. So that's how you do it. Hopefully this helps if you have any of these kind or make this kind. It's pretty easy to make. So we'll talk to you later.